in my tenure at Cage Titans. Absolutely. Great job. Great performance. He has a lot to be proud of, a lot to improve upon still, but I can't wait to see him back in the cage with us. Congratulations. Thank you for that. That was one of the best fights I've ever called. We are going into our second amateur title fight of the evening. Shane Doherty coming up. The cheers are already radiant through Absolutely. Plymouth Memorial Hall here for As Shane they Doherty. normally are. As they should be. And he's taking on the traveling Jordan Brown out of Warrior Warehouse from South Carolina. He's 3-3. Three and three. He's fought in this cage before. He is 1-1 one one in the Cage Titans cage. Holding a win over... Chris McDonald out of South Shore Sport Fighting and losing to Matt Waddell out of Lozon MMA. Both great hard fought decisions. We know this kid has a gas tank. We know he's super athletic and explosive. He's got wrestling for days, powerful strikes. He is embracing the boos that are going Absolutely. on in this crowd right here. This is a very heavily Shane Doherty favored crowd, but he does not care, this Jordan Absolutely. Brown. Black Magic, they call him. He is not intimidated, and he is looking to take home a strap to Columbia, South Carolina. Booze, no booze. I'm the man after my own heart. I've been booed to myself. It doesn't change the job that we got to do when we get in there. He knows what he's got to do when he walks in. He's, doing a, he's gonna come in there against a very, very game Shane Doherty. And remember, he does have a little bit more fight experience than Shane Doherty did this. He has double the fights that Shane Doherty has, be it his record being three and three. It doesn't mean that he doesn't have as much cage experience as he possibly can going into this fight. Yeah, even though he's got those three losses on his record, like you said, double the experience yep. that Shane Doherty has, even though Doherty is undefeated. Jordan Brown coming up a weight class. He was a big 135er, and he's very full-figured here at 145. Shouldn't be too much of a detriment here. All Definitely right. a big pop here for Shane. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Shane Doherty, a Cage Titans uh, uh, local favorite around here. Most handsome man in Cage Titans. Top three, at least. Absolutely, young, top three. The young phenom just celebrating his 21st birthday. Hasn't even had a beer yet because of this fight. I'm buying him one. Made weight on point. He's looking to celebrate his birthday with a belt. Absolutely. That's happening at the wharf in just a few hours. Okay. The US MMA fighter, undefeated. He took a long way off to finish up some schoolwork. He had his first fight as a teenager. Came back on a pins card. Yes. Beat Brett Layton in a spectacular fight, and then coming off of his strong win against Sean Murren, one of the best performances I've seen out of an amateur, especially one this young, mm -hmm. coming in with tons of momentum into his first title fight. Yeah, and you know his last fight with Sean Murren. Sean Murren's a guy who's a very dangerous guy that nobody wants to fight. Shane Doherty moved up a weight class and took that fight, and he beat him decisively. Did a great job. Very great impressive job. in that fight. I'm excited. I'm so happy that he finally got his title shot. And showed all facets of his yep. game. Very, very entertaining. Very smooth. Like I said, like Andy said, very, very well-rounded. He can do it anywhere. He can go up top. He's more inclined to, to throw his strikes. Very good kicks. Sets up things really well. But his wrestling and his jiu-jitsu game are just as good as everything else. Very well-rounded going into this fight. I'm interested to see what game plan he enacts against the, uh, the dangerous 3-3 three and three, uh, opponent he has here. And he's got his toughest test to date. The most experienced fighter that he's faced. Absolutely. Right? And it's for five rounds. We're going to see whose cardio holds up should it make it that long. I'll Absolutely. be back in a moment, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Let, uh, let Andy go do his thing. Get in there. A lot of good walkout songs here Love tonight. The you know, it's been a great night for that. Sometimes, you know, usually there's at least one person that walks out to Phil Collins. Yeah. And I'm not really sure. I don't know if I gig that, but, you know, oh, whatever yeah. your energy is, your energy is. It is what it is. Shane Doherty rocking the go. Tiger shorts. Very, very flashy. I like it. This is the last amateur fight of the night. Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, our final amateur bout of the evening. This one for the vacant Cage Titans Featherweight Championship. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Fighting out of Warrior Warehouse out of Columbia, South Carolina with an amateur record of three and three. Let's give it up for Black Magic, Jordan Brown! Lots of booze. And his opponent, 
Standing across from him in the blue corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall with an amateur record of three wins and zero losses. Representing U.S. MMA, let's hear it for Shane El Burro Dorney. This bout is scheduled for five rounds, three minutes apiece with referee Brian Miner. Here we go, intros are All over. All right. These guys are ready to get their hands on each other. This should be a great one. El Burro. El Burro. Yeah. And what, this is, what is it? El Burro. Uh -huh. El Burro. <laughs> what that means? No. Donkey. Donkey El Burro. Oh, yeah. well, that's what they told me to call him. All right. Mm. Jordan Brown in the blue and black trunks. Shane Oy. Doherty in the tiger shirt. Shorts. Shirt. Ooh. It's okay. Jordan Brown. Oh, they're right coming up with it. They're going right for hand. it. Fast hands from Jordan Brown. Nice, nice liver kick. kick. Nice kick coming up. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, with the right hand coming in. Him. That one was hurt. That one, he's throwing hard. He's Shane Doherty's on his bike, but showing composure. Always. He definitely got tagged. Shane is very technical. When, when and he always gets composed. Up, he's always able to uh, slip and rip off it. He's got his chin a little high when he's backing up, though. A little bit. Both of them are having their chins a little bit high. If you've noticed, uh, Jordan Brown putting out his chin a little bit when he puts that jab. If you notice, puts it up a little bit. You better watch out for the right hand coming over the yeah. top. The beautiful leg kicks from Shane Doherty. We'd like to see him set him up a little bit more, pump some jabs, just some lead hands as he puts that up. Nice kick. Jordan Brown, he can't get predictable with that right hand. Nice he jab. Once. Oh, nice there's head a head kick. kick. Oh, that one hurt a nice hook right there. That one hurt him too. Beautiful combination from Shane Doherty. Started oh. off with the head kick, piecing together the hands. Jordan Brown says he's all right. Nice step in body. Nice kick, sportsmanship man. because if anybody else would have just stopped in the middle of the cage, somebody would have gotten knocked out. Oh. Big right hand off the caught kick from Jordan Brown. Puts Shane Doherty on the canvas. There we go. Yeah, let's him back up. Let's him back up. Good. Both well, these guys have been hurt already. Nice right hand from Doherty off the left hook. Nice slip. Little cut under the eye, Jordan Brown. 3-2, trying to find a home. Nice check hook and a beautiful kick to follow up that combination. Oh, that step and body kick with the left leg is beautiful. A lot of naked kicks going up. Shane seems to be finding a home for it. Gordon Brown's got some lightning fast hands. Nice oh, head, head kick. kick. Nice catch, though. He's got the Watch the triangle there. coming up. There it there is. There it is. He fell right into it. He she got does. out of Matt Waddell's triangle several times to see if his triangle defense still holds up, but that he's is a deep a, attempt. That's a deep one. He's got another yeah. He's got it. He's got he's it. He's got it. That's tight. tight. He's going to pinch his knees. He's on top. He's on top. Oh, that, yeah, that, yeah, is yeah. Yeah. that is it. That is it. Fight's over. Brilliant. Great yeah. stuff. Great yeah. stuff. Wow. Shane Doherty wins in dominating fashion. Excellent, excellent job, Shane Doherty. Beautiful slap on that triangle. I mean, he just slapped that on lightning fast, and when Jordan Brown started stacking him and rolled him, Shane Doherty kept his composure, stayed on top, cinched it up deeper, and then was just violent in his ground and pound after he cinched up that triangle to finish the TKO fight. Get off the cage. It's against the rules. Don't get fined. He didn't make any money. Isn't it hilarious that that's against the rules? But anyways, the crowd goes wild for Shane Doherty. Absolutely. Love it. Beautiful. Dominating fashion to win the title. And what a great title fight that was through one round. Both guys brought it, tried killing each other early. Shane Doherty comes on top in the scramble with a beautiful submission slash TKO victory. Yeah, Unbelievable. And, and Jordan Brown, man, just fast hands, top kids. What a fight. Congrats to the new champ. Good work, Shane Good work guys. Good work from Shane. Great way to slap on that triangle. A little reckless going down from Jordan Brown. That's what... Uh, that's what caught him in that triangle. Great transition to the mount. After that, it was just a matter of time, you know what I mean? Once you get caught in that triangle, you're going to try to defend too many things at once. So, uh, great job from Shane Doherty. Uh, awesome job from uh, Jordan Brown as well. He'll be back. And, you know, Doherty, he came out hard, and he landed that right hand, but he kind of fell in love with it. And he yep. got thrown it, and he got predictable. And Shane was able to capitalize on it, and so he, he really timed him. Absolutely. Landed that head kick. Beautiful triangle. It was a great fight, even great though it was fight. only one round. Good show of class between these two guys right here. All right, our man Andy with the decision coming up.
Let's hear it for these two warriors. What a bell for one round. <laughs> Referee Brian Miner has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and 22 seconds of round number one. Giving your, your winner and new featherweight champion by TKO, Shay Albuno Doherty. Well earned, well earned. Shane Doherty, the new amateur featherweight champion of Cage Titans. Congratulations to him and his team. Shane Doherty stays perfect. Yep, stays Just undefeated. Like or now, at 21 years old. Oh, you know, bright future ahead of Shane Doherty. A lot, a lot of good stuff coming for him. If only I could be 21 again. Oh my goodness, what I would give. I mean, this kid, he, he's got the looks, he's got the talent, he's got superstar written all over him. All over him. All right, and that will wrap it up for our amateurs tonight. Listen to this crowd right now. Yeah. They are eating this up. Let's happy birthday, down. Shane Doherty. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, my right. God, happy 21st, huh? I'm here with the new featherweight champion, Shane Doherty. What is that? Give this man a beer. What is that? that and is some for kind those of alcoholic who don't beverage. know, two day, three days ago was your 21st birthday, and you said you are not celebrating until you had that belt around your waist. I'm buying your first shot, let's go. Hey, congratulations with the promoter, yeah. One gulp. There it is. That's and the, the champ. champ. That's the champ right there. That is, yes. that is championship yes. mentality right there. Oh, I dig it. Disclaimer, oh, I like really that. Gatorade, but ah, we no. had some fun anyway. Shane, you've been in this cage for a long time. You've had your eyes at that pelt. You're an amazing, kid who's training to fight, going to college, juggling all that. How does that go, and how does it feel tonight? All right, Mike, before I do anything, my brother Preston, today's his 18th birthday, so I gotta give a shout out to my brother Preston. I love you, brother. And you know, That's the DD when it comes tonight. to juggling everything, school, my fraternity, <laughs> shout out Sigma Chi, um, and fighting, you know, it's not easy, but this is my passion, this is what I love to do, so I gotta do it, you know? Well, there you have it. You know what? Let's get a happy birthday for your friend who's 18 and you as well for 21. Oh, your brother's 18 and 21 on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy ah. birthday. birthday. Oh, Jesus. We're singing. You. Why not? Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Shane Doherty, Shane new featherweight champion. Happy birthday to you. Welcome yeah, to the Delta, kid. It's been a pleasure having you. Pleasure putting that belt around your waist. One more shout out for all your fans and your team. You know, everyone knows I like to party. Everyone knows I like to go crazy. Yeah. And they knew when I won this belt that I was going to go crazy. Yeah. But what everyone wanted to know was Shane. What's gonna happen if you lose? <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know. Ooh. No, he didn't. One more time! Look at my try! He hits it! 